Before we start Chapter 3, we just want to review some of the information that we know from the past. So angles, sides of triangles, and types of triangles are what we're going to talk about today. So first, what kind of vocabulary do we remember? Well, a straight angle. A straight angle kind of looks like a line, but really, if you measured the angle around that vertex point in the middle, we should have how many degrees? Well, this angle measures 180 degrees. Really, it's a halfway around a circle, so the straight angle is 180 degrees. The angle on the right next, with a little box, is a 90 degree angle. This angle is called a right angle. Sometimes we see the 90 degrees written there, other times it's just the box. We need to recognize that that means a right angle. Next, we have two intersecting lines, but very specifically, these two intersecting lines, you will notice, form a 90 degree angle. These lines are called perpendicular lines. Next, we have angles 3 and 4 that, when you add them together, are called specific types of angles. They are these two angles are called complementary angles because their measures add up to 90 degrees. The next pair you will see angles 1 and 2. Well these two angles, if you were to put them together, make up that 180 degrees that we talked about before. Therefore, these two angles are called supplementary because their measures add up to 180 degrees. These angles are also called adjacent because they are next to each other. They share that common ray in between them. Next we have another set of intersecting lines like we did with the perpendicular lines. The only difference is here we don't have something that is forming a 90 degree angle. But there are some important things that are happening here. When you look at angles 1 and 3, you will notice that they are across from each other. These angles, angles 1 and 3, are called vertical angles. Angles 2 and 4, which you will notice are also directly across from each other, 2 and 4 are also called vertical angles. They are, in this picture, not the same as 1 and 3, but they are also, um, they are equal to each other, but they are not the same as 1 and 3. Angles 2 and 3, which are very similar to the ones in the supplementary example above, have a common ray that they are sharing. So they are called adjacent angles, as they also have that common ray that shares in between them. One of the things that we also want to notice is that when you have vertical angles, the angles that are across from each other are equal to each other, and because of that, we can use that information if we know one of them to find the other one. So we'll talk more about this in a future section, but vertical angles are congruent. So the angle for measure 1 is the same as the angle for measure 3. Angle 2 is the same as the angle for measure, angle for measure 4. Now, talking about angles. Again, this is something that we have done in the past, and we want to make sure that we remind ourselves that the acute angle is something that is less than 90 degrees. The obtuse angle is greater than 90 degrees, but it is less than 180 degrees, and our right angle is equal to 90 degrees. Triangles are classified by their angles. They can also be classified by their size, which we will talk about in a minute. See if you can fill in the blanks below. I'm going to pause the video and then come back and check on it. So hopefully you have these filled in correctly. The first one is an acute triangle, as all of their angles are less than 90 degrees. The obtuse triangle has one angle that is more than 90 degrees. 
and the right triangle is a right triangle because it has one of the angles that measures 90 degrees. Triangles can also be classified by their sides. So, please, I'm going to pause this for a moment, and you fill in these triangles below to see if we can recall what it means to be each of these triangles. Okay? So, the triangle that has all of its sides congruent is the equilateral triangle. A triangle that has two of its sides congruent is an isosceles triangle. And the triangle that has no sides congruent is called the scalene triangle. Notice the tick marks on the equilateral and the isosceles to show that those sides are congruent. And lastly, what we want to remember on a lot of this chapter, and going forward obviously, is that the angles in a triangle always, always, always add up to 180 degrees. No matter what type of a triangle it is, no matter what it looks like, 180 degrees is the total of all of our angles in our triangle.